Hello everybody, we're back here with some more Madden, and I was very frustrated that last game, but it is what it is, and let's go to the offseason. I don't know if I'm going to play next season or not, just because the football season is over now, and I know based on MLB 14, the show, after the season was done, then it's pretty much worthless to play the game. <laughs> I know NBA, but I got tired of NBA. All right. Oh, wow, Charles Wilson retired. Eh, game prep still. Hmm. I uh, will do some prepping, I guess. Oh, okay. Well, let's see here. Let's take a look at my guys changes in their overalls Let's see here Blake Bortles 89 huh. all right ALAC 92 James Casey went is a 90 Wow all right <laughs> okay Scott Chandler 83 Got pretty good left side offensive lineman. Offensive lineman seemed pretty good. Robert Ayers went up big. Kenny Ely sort of went up. Nevis definitely went up. Let's see, Milton Smith about stayed the same. Don Butler about stayed the same. Maybe went up by a little bit. Dante Hightower stayed about the same. Justin Gilbert went up. Earl Thomas. And Cam Chancellor, still 99. Alright. Let's get going here. Let's resign some people. Let's see who we gotta resign here. Wow, only the punter? All right. <laughs> okay, good. Awesome. Let's get my freaking punter back. See if he's willing to cut that down by a little bit. Ah. Oh. See any of these guys I want back? Eh. My, well, actually, I don't need Jacoby Ford. I got Devin Hester. Eh. We're good. Ah. Oh, no. How dare you, Wanger? Fine. Alright. Ah. Oh, no. They won't let me try again. You jerk off. No! I thought I could freaking haggle him. God dang it. Oh well. Let's try the Pana. Can get someone else in a freaking Pana. Ah, crap. Is there anyone else? Maybe low I want to get. Uh. Ah, let's sign Jacoby Ford back. Give him two years. There. There we go. So, how's Jacoby Ford? Yep, he's accepted. Awesome. We got Jacoby Ford back. Anyone else? Uh, nah. I'm passing that. Send Brian Tibbs out there. Let's go. We need a pun on free agency. Alright, free agent offers. Make offers. Let's see here. What do we need? Angers is in there. Let's see here. I don't really need a quarterback. Don't need a halfback. What receivers are in there? Ah, I don't need those guys 
Tight end. Nah. Center. Good with all that. Huh. Nah, I got Coney Ely. Now linebackers. I got pretty good ones there. Carlos Rogers. Eh. Wow, there's not much in this thing, is there? <laughs> uh, so, what the heck? Sure, what I want to try to get anger back. Sure, why not? How good's my kicker? I don't even remember who my kicker is. <laughs> oh, crap. I don't have a kicker. Well, no wonder why I don't remember who it is. Alright, well, let's go get Connor Barth then. Ah, I keep going to the game prep. Other freaking. Let's see, let's go get Connor Barth. Deciding whether I want him or not. Uh, see how good's my center. My center is like eighty-one, but how old was he? Dang it. Crap. I don't know. It says he was in the league for six years. I can't find his dang age. Ah. Well, I don't see that much in here to get. Sign Jericho Cautry. There. Uh. Sign O'Brien Schofield. These will be my guys. I try to sign. All right. Need some cap for the draft, anyways. Crap. I want to see. Dang. I need to see where my guys are at. My negotiations. Guess that money sign means they were just sign. Oh, highest bid. Hmm. 
Wow, I def I need definitely need the kickers. How much is the Redskins offering them? I have no idea. Freak, how is the red skin still higher than me? Contract rejected. Boo. Oh, I got Connor Barth. I got a kicker. At least. And I can get a punter after the free agency, you piece of garbage people. Heh. <laughs> Kinda dang it. Stupid other teams took my place. <laughs> Alright. Well. I like a. Yeah. Cornerback be good. Of course, can't go with that. I'll be like a little bit more down here. Let's see here. Let's get a cool wide receiver. Ah, he's a C. A cornerback. Huh. Ooh. I'll take it that dude. Heck yeah. Kendrum Grayson. Let's see, second round. I'll get one of these early here. Probably, probably more down here. How about Lamar Cobb? Ah. No. Well, what's his speed? Ooh, all right, cool speed. How about catching? C. Hmm. Catching traffic? C. Seems like a quick dude. All right. Let's see. How about a line? Well, oh, middle. I got a middle linebacker. Not this wide receiver. Ah. Dang it. I pressed the freaking. Huh. Not bad catching. Alright, how about speed? Alright. I'll keep a lo look out for this dude. Frederick Bray. Alright. Let's see here. What else would I like? Third round. Let's see here. Have a late third round pick. About defensive tackle, I need one of these. Let's see here. Block shedding. Oh hit power. Screw you, buddy. <laughs> Alright, uh let's see. Left end. Let's see how good this dude is. 
fit nice moves. Block shedding. Huh. Alright. How about your hit power? Okay. Uh, let's see. Big hitter? No. How about spin? Ah. Consistency. Uh, what else do we want to look at? Let's look at another cornerback here. Let's see, zone coverage. Alright, good zone coverage. This man. Oh, wow! Alright. Nice. Wow, this guy looks good. Kirk Hampton. How about a linebacker? I could look at one of these. Speed. Alright. Good. Pursuit. Tackling. Alright. How about a late round guy? How about a halfback? We can look for a halfback. Okay. Alright, we can do our scouting. The NFL Draft. The let's go. Are now on the clock. All right. Let's advance to my pick. Advance to next Adam, user the pick. The Browns are going. All right, Adam Mallett. What do you think? There was some concern that he may not be a three-down linebacker in the NFL. He showed toughness and instinct in defending the run, but was pulled on a lot of obvious pass plays back in college. Well, according to Matt Miller's combine report, he looked like one of the faster linebackers in the pass drop and hip rotation drills. Enough so to move up in the rankings and to get drafted earlier than a lot of experts thought he would. Where is the guy? The team pulls him out in third and long situations, uh, but I think he has the tools to become a three down linebacker eventually. I don't know how good this guy is. They look at their heights. Crap. Projected draft round and draft pick. Well, actually... He was projected high. Wow. He might be pretty good. Hmm. I have to think about this. Who is the people I scouted again? Will they show me? I don't know if they'll show me. Dang it. I remember every exact person I freaking scouted. Dang it. I scout a couple wide receivers. Let me take a look here. Whoa, six foot four. Jeez. Ah, this guy is a C overall. I, I actually looked at this guy. Hmm. Who else did I scout here? Oh, yeah, this guy. Frederick Bray. Had good speed. Hmm. Gone with this d gusty barber. I'm gonna the hope Redskins for that wide receiver. Adam, what can you? T Steelers have just made. Adam Schefter has the inside scoop on Patriots have just made Clark their newest player. Well, he hasn't gotten a lot of attention from the media. His name has been circulating around the front offices the past few weeks. To find out why, I spoke with Matt Miller. He told me his performance at the Combine caused them to go back and look at his game film one more time. And what they found was his team made a scheme change in his final season that hmm. forced him to shift to a new role he wasn't exactly comfortable in. 
To draw a comparison, they looked at his first three seasons before the change, and he looked like a much different player. The speed and level he played at matched what they saw him do back at Oh, Indy. wow. He rose up draft boards across the league, and they're very lucky to have picked him up before anyone else could. I think I'm going to get Burns if I... If he's still there. Let's look at the defensive tackles real quick. Is any of the guys I scouted in here? There's a D, C, K. Well, I kind of do need a tight end. How about that linebacker that I scouted? Production grade. Ooh, yeah, here he is. Hmm. Is he projected third or... Oh, he's projected fourth. I might be able to get him later on. I want that tight end. The Redskins are now on the clock. I have to keep an eye out for that defensive tackle. Put him next to Nevis. Cardinals pick is in. Let's go. Rams have just made their pick. Adam, what can you tell us about him? Here's a guy who never All quite right. lived up to expectations throughout the season until a solid late performance act that is the catalyst to this pre-draft hype. He followed up the strong late season performance with a stronger pro day, leading many teams to move hmm. him up their big boards. One GM I talked to felt his renewed confidence could be attributed to his performance in that late season game, stating, quote, it was the shot in the arm he needed to begin believing in his abilities again. Close quote. If he can continue to conquer the self-doubt that has held his game back in the past, he could be a formidable NFL wideout. He'll be a player to keep an eye on as the preseason approaches. All right. He's at the, the top. I better get him. Now on the clock. All right, let's go to Adam. All right, now that now that he's just been picked. All right, team is now off the clock. Adam Schefter, can you tell us about their newest player? He made headlines when he decided to walk away from the offensive line, a place he had called home since his senior year in high school to pursue a dream of playing on the defensive line. Sources told me he had approached his college coaches at the beginning of last season asking to be moved to the defensive line, but was denied the opportunity due to lack of depth on the offensive line. He didn't blow watchers away at the combine, but he did show flashes of brilliance, showing off a powerful upper body and impressive swim technique. This is a wait and see pick, as you can never have enough depth on your defensive line. He could certainly blossom with playing time, but his true value likely won't be known for a few seasons. Huh. Ooh, low production grade. Uh, hmm. I think I'm going to get him. I just want to take a quick look at the defensive tackles here. Big boy here. Hmm. Go and get that wide receiver. Hopefully he turns out good. Pretty tall, six foot three. Two twenty two vertical offense could help out. Actually, should I go with the guy with the more production or the guy with the more weight and he's more for vertical? Hmm, North Carolina, LSU. I'm going for Redmond. The Redskins are now on the clock. All right. Now that the Ravens have made their pick, let's go to Adam Schefter to hear more about him. A torn Achilles tendon almost dashed his NFL dreams, but through pure determination and will, he found a way to rehab and impress scouts at the Combine. He was able to make strong cuts and doesn't look as if he's lost any speed as a result of the injury. Even with the success he's currently enjoying, there's significant concern about him doing too much too fast. Count on this training staff continuing his rehab to make sure he's at 100% before he sees the field. He's a significant investment, and I can't <clears> see them rushing him back until he's truly ready. Hmm. 
I think I'll, I'm gonna with the. Uh, yeah, I'll go with. What round is this, anyways? This is fifth. Well, there's a bunch of wide receivers up here. Where is this sheet? Didn't I just. Didn't I already get a halfback? Ah, crap. Here's all my. Oh, I didn't see this. God dang it. Yeah, that's the, the dude I scouted. On the clock. Ugh, I didn't see that. Man. Other freak. God dang it. Just picked up Sheed at well, let's go to Adam. Well, now that's more on the 49ers latest pick. Some interesting news came out of his pro day when coaches called the workout off early. He was beginning to show signs of exhaustion, and they were worried he wouldn't be able to make it through the rest of the planned drills. Workhorse running backs are becoming oh, a priority wow. in the league, but you want to see your tailbacks have huge. enough stamina to play an entire game. He's going to need a lot more conditioning, and we'll see if he this dude. ready for the freaking team's training big. camp. Move him defensive tackle if he's good. The Jaguars are now on the clock. All right, let's see here. Don't need any of those. Right end. Let's see here. Free safeties. I don't really need. Oh, defensive tackle. Uh, these guys weren't projected to be picked, but. Gonna go with the defensive the tackle here. Are now on the Hopefully, call. maybe I got a gem in the seventh round. <laughs> All right. Let's see how good my picks were. Okay, rookie signings. I'm gonna sign them all to a contract. So, cornerback. How do I sign him? Guess I don't sign him? Oh. Oh. Can I look at there? 81. Nice. For cornerback. Good. 75 tight end. That look at that linebacker 80 overall. Nice. What is this wide receiver 67? Ah. 66. Ooh. Man, it is freaking. It didn't even use that size for crap. God dang it. <laughs> Defensive tackle. Well, I got three good people anyway, sort of. Linebacker's exciting. <laughs> Roster adjustment. All right, let's see what we can do here. So quarterbacks are good. Halfbacks are good. Wide receivers. That's seven of them. Okay. Hmm. Curious to try Burns out. See how. What's his catching? 78. I'm going to put him in over Smith. How do I do that? Sort. No. No. Dang it. What the freak? Put Chandler in there. Ugh. Whatever. That works for me. What 
What the frick? What happened there? Oh, yeah, I've... Yeah. Ayers. Hey, Domin Gaisley's back. Nice. Look at that. Two two awesome linebackers. Heck yeah. Gotta put him as my second middle linebacker. Look at that. That was awesome. That was a good pick. I, well, I think it was a good pick. Anyways, I got a good nickel quarterback now. Yeah. What's his... Uh, wow, he gets good size grade. Okay, good. Look at that. Man coverage is awesome. Zone, not too much. And Earl Thomas, and then Cam Chancellor. Alright. Let's advance to the preseason. We'll set my def chart up. Oh yeah, I gotta sign a punter too. I don't got a punter. Trade block DeAndre Levy. Wow, he is a good linebacker. It's just I already got some linebackers. Matt McGloin is in it. Wow, he's actually an 80 overall. Wow. I don't need him now. And Marcus Smith the second, which I don't need. Tempted for DeAndre Levy. Maybe I can make him a cheap offer, maybe? Let's see. How about AJ McCarron? <laughs> oh, they need a strong safety right end and a right tackle. Let's see here. There, I'll give you him. <laughs> I'll give you him. How about um right end, strong left outside linebacker, and a left end. Not get my good linebacker. Half a wine. <laughs> Let's see here. There, how about him? My rookie. There. Wait. Smith. Yes. Oh, it was declined. Screw you. I don't want him anyways. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the free agency. Let's sign a punter. If I can find free agency. I have no idea where the free agency is. I looked at it before, but I do not remember where it's at. Maybe I have to go to it through the rosters. Let's see here. No. I don't remember how to get to the free agency. The freak. How do I get there? I don't... I don't remember. It says sign players in here, but there's no... Resign players, salaries... What? I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's put Burns as second here.
Interesting combination. <laughs> Ah, it's not very good at here. I'll keep Mentai Teo in there for now. Curious, which one of these guys have better stats? Okay, Malcolm. Hit power? Ha. Huh. Okay. Play recognition. Speed rating. Wow, Malcolm Smith has way better coverage. Ah, we'll keep it the way it is. need a punter <laughs> but I'll figure I don't know where it is god dang it ah uh, where is the ponte where's the free agency no uh, wait there it is I found it yes there we go Get a punter. Here we go. Actually, I want a big, good, powerful punter. Here we go. Perfect. All right, nice. Don't think I really need anything else out of here. All right, good. That's the off season. <laughs> 